from a sea lion that found its way inside of a high school to castles that are guarded by bears. Here are eight animals found in weird places. Number 8. Kangaroo Fight A recent video captured two kangaroos duking it out animal to animal in the middle of an Australian suburb. We all know that Australia has some of the most outrageous wildlife in the world, and kangaroos are up there for the most iconic Australian animal. But you'd never expect to go outside of your front door and catch a literal boxing match between two of them. However, Rodney Langham uploaded a video of the situation to YouTube, so we all know it's true. Take a look! Who knows how they ended up there, but it seems like they've had a serious disagreement. It's not pretty. They're both using their fists and their legs to settle their issues. As it turns out, kangaroos do this pretty often whenever they find themselves in competition with one another. There's a long history of kangaroos seen as boxers. It's arguably one of Australia's national symbols. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, kangaroos occasionally used to box humans as a sideshow. Usually, kangaroos just box one another for territorial reasons, but it looks like this one got out of hand and flowed out into an area where you'd never expect to see it. Have you ever seen a kangaroo box before? Let me know in the comments below. Number 7. Okunoshima – Bunny Island On the tiny Japanese island of Okunoshima, there are a ton of feral bunnies that have long since taken over. While this is certainly adorable, the island itself has a history fraught with gloom. In 1925, a bunch of countries including Japan signed the Geneva Protocol. One aspect of this protocol banned using chemical weapons in war, even though countries could still make it and the Bunny Island is where Japan decided to keep making their chemical weapons. Even though it was technically legal, they kept their development of mustard gas very secret, even though they created somewhere around 6 kilotons of this dangerous material. The island was often not listed on maps to keep this a secret. Even the local population didn't know what the new plant was making. But then after World War II, the Japanese decided that it was time to get rid of all these nasty chemicals. Sadly, there were many victims of chemical poisoning from the plant, and it took many years for their stories to be heard. However, after the plant closed, government officials freed many rabbits onto the island in the hopes of converting it into a park. Who knows if these were the test bunnies that were at the poison plant? Let's hope not. Since they were released, the rabbits have moved forward like they tend to, by multiplying. If you're interested in the history of the island, you can visit the Poison Gas Museum, but many tourists just go to the island to experience the cuddliness of all the bunnies there. Number 6. Cape Town Baboons In Cape Town, South Africa, it could be argued that the baboons have started to take over. That's right, due to Cape Town's expansion into the baboons' former territory, these animals have decided that they'd just move right into the city as it takes over their space. That means that there's a solid population of around 500 baboons inside of Cape Town that can cause a lot of trouble for the city's residents. The city even publishes a helpful list of tips and tricks for dealing with the baboons if you're a tourist. Naturally, these baboons would want to move into the city's living areas because there's a lot of discarded food inside of trash cans, as well as an abundance of fruit-bearing trees. They don't have many predators to deal with, so they've taken to rummaging through trash cans and breaking into businesses looking for snacks. Many know when the garbage trucks run and are ready to take what they can from the dump at a moment's notice. These burgling baboons are no joke, there's some serious looting going on. Due to all of these factors, the government has started to reconsider its protection of the animals, but it's not entirely clear what should be done. They've thought about whether or not to put down the repeat felons. Cape Town's population has taken to a different method, paintballs and pepper spray. But clearly, this isn't going to be enough to stop the most determined of the baboons. Could you imagine trying to fight off attacking baboons with a paintball gun? That's just ridiculous, but it's real. Has a baboon ever tried to steal your garbage or food? What about bears or raccoons? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Number 5. Chesky Krumlov Castle Deep inside of the Czech Republic, there is a castle with a very unconventional security system. In the moat around the large structure, a group of brown bears hang out and make their home. The castle is called Chesky Krumlov Castle, and it's one of the oldest and biggest castles in the whole country. It's been around since the year 1240 when it was built by a branch of the influential Rosenberg family, after which it was passed down through the generations into the 16th century. That's when the bears entered the picture. After living there for many years, they started inhabiting the surrounding moat in about 1707. They're a fitting symbol for the castle, and different bears have come and gone as the years have passed. Right now, four bears have set up a place in the moat of the Chesky Krumlov Castle, they even have a comfortable living space, featuring such niceties as toys and relaxation areas. On Christmas Eve, the bears enjoy a celebration festival, and during this period, tourists are allowed to come inside the bears' space. Visitors tend to bring a lot of tasty treats for all the bears to munch on, and the local wildlife expert makes sure that it's all okay for the bears to eat. 
Then, when their buffet has been assembled, the bears are allowed to feast. However, sometimes that doesn't quite work, and unfortunately, some American tourists got mauled on one occasion. So be careful if you visit this castle, and keep your distance. Number 4. Koalas on deck We all know that koalas can't fly, unless we give them a helping hand. When Singapore was celebrating its 50th anniversary of being an independent state, Australia decided to present them with a gift. Four koalas, who went to live in the Singapore Zoo. They flew with the Qantas airline, which opted to give them a truly first-class treatment for a moment, giving them luxurious hot towels, as well as a hearty helping of eucalyptus. You can see photos of their flight for yourself. However, as it turns out, they only got their first-class treatment for a short amount of time. It's a pretty long flight from Australia to Singapore, and they spent most of it inside of crates. The photos are from a photo shoot. However, this is probably better for the koalas and the flight attendants in the long run, since they are wild animals. No one wanted any unexpected messes occurring on their way to their new home. The four koalas, named Idalia, Pelita, Paddle and Shan, served as Australia's cultural ambassadors for a few months before moving to the zoo. Qantas even committed to sending these koalas a fresh helping of eucalyptus twice a week. Australia definitely knows how to represent itself around the world. Number 3. Coyote on a rooftop bar A few years ago, a few folks spotted what appeared to be a coyote on the top of a New York City rooftop bar. People weren't sure what to do. At first they thought it was a dog, but a veterinarian ascended to the rooftop to sneak a peek, and left just as quickly. And if you look at the photos, it looks more like a coyote than a dog. For a few short hours, this coyote was flying high directly in the middle of the neighbourhood. Naturally, people were concerned about the coyote's presence on the roof, so the NYPD's emergency services unit was called in to capture it. However, this coyote was pretty nimble. When they tried to snatch it, this coyote ran from the rooftop directly into an old factory through one of its windows. You can actually see a video of it for yourself. Take a look! The bar's owner suspects that this animal had been living in that factory for quite some time, and perhaps it's still there today. This isn't the first time that coyotes have been spotted in New York City. In fact, two more were recently captured and released back into designated Bronx wilderness areas in the same year. Have you ever encountered a wild animal in an office or home before? Tell me about it in the comments section below. Number 2. Pig Beach We've all dreamt about swimming with dolphins, but have you ever considered that it might be more fun to swim with pigs? It might sound ridiculous, but on the small island of Big Major Cay in the Bahamas, you can make this dream a reality. If you ever visit Big Major Cay, you'll find that this island belongs to a group of feral pigs. Though some folks claim to have seen a couple of cats and goats on the island other than the pigs, it's basically uninhabited by anything or anyone else. You can go and see the aptly named Pig Beach if you're ever staying at the Fowl Cay Resort in the area. From there, you can rent boats and travel to Big Major Cay Island for yourself. The pigs live off the natural food sources from the island, but also on the goodwill of those visitors who come to feed them regularly. When the pigs hear the boats approaching, they prepare themselves by swimming out to meet you there, so you can get out and swim with the pigs. Not only that, but if you start approaching the shoreline, the pigs are probably going to jump onto your boat looking for a snack. It's a remarkable place, but no one is quite sure how the pigs arrived there. Some say that sailors left them there to come back and eat later, and then never made it back. Others say that they are the lone survivors of a shipwreck. Although we'll probably never know how these pigs got there, I think it would be a lot of fun to go swimming with them. After all, that's not something you see every day. Number 1. Sea Lion in High School in April 2015, onlookers outside of an Imperial Beach San Diego High School must have been stunned to see a sea lion pup being taken away in a police car. It's fun to imagine what the sea lion must have done to end up in this situation. Did he want to go back to school? Was he trying to locate an old friend? The possibilities are endless. Whatever he was up to, he might have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for those police officers apprehending him. I went looking for more information because this story sounds crazy. So what happened? Well. Mar Vista High School is only five blocks away from the Imperial Beach shoreline, so what must have happened is that this pup came onto the shore and flopped itself a solid five blocks to this high school. Naturally, the staff at Mar Vista were a little bit confused, so they thought that they should get the police involved. After they detained the determined pup, animal control officers arrived and cared for the animal. While it's a funny story, there is a real problem at hand. Sea lions washing ashore has become a serious problem in the past few decades, and no one is quite sure how to stop it. Because waters are getting warmer, mothers are leaving their pups alone while they swim deeper into the water to find them food. These pups are sometimes forced to come ashore because it's the only place they have the energy to go. Soon, places like San Diego are going to need animal control to take in orphaned sea lions more and more often, which could develop into a real problem for the wild population. Thanks again for watching! What's the weirdest place you can imagine finding a wild animal? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more great content! See you next time!